Hey guys, what's going on? So I've got some exciting news for you. Uh, Ashes of Creation had a Alpha 1 test over this weekend. Um, I'm personally involved in the Alpha 1 uh, testing. I personally backed the project a while ago, so this isn't just, I, I didn't get in as a content creator or anything like that. I, I just actually backed the project and the, and the um, company. That's how I got in, just letting you guys know that right away. They had the alpha this weekend and Steven went ahead a few um, hours ago and let us know that we are able to discuss things uh, that happened in the alpha. So basically the verbal NDA has lifted and we can talk about it. So none of the footage that I show you on the video is actually from myself. It's just footage that a Ashes of Creation themselves had provided to the community and have shown from previous live streams. So you can Feel free to just listen to this as audio if you'd like, or if you haven't seen this footage before, uh, you know, feel free to take a look at it. Uh, but anyways, my experience with Alpha so far has been that the game is definitely far from finished, and I think everyone needs to realize that about Alpha. This is definitely not like a, a player uh, Alpha where people just come in and it's kind of titled an Alpha, but really the game is fairly polished. There is definitely a lot still to be done on the project. Uh, the UI is far from finished. Um, you know, there's almost no options to change anything. You can't change keybinds. You can't, you can't do much in the game when it comes to your UI. It's just kind of bare bones. It's there to uh, be acceptable at the moment. The next thing I will say is, as of now, Ashes of Creation definitely feels like an MMO. So for some of you, you're breathing a sigh of relief, and for others, of you, you might be a little bit upset. And the reason why I say it feels a lot like an MMO is I uh, asked my fiance, she sat down and played for maybe an hour or two. Uh, she's played Guild Wars 2, she's played, you know, Classic WoW, she's played several other MMOs as well. And so she, she knows what an MMO is supposed to feel like. Uh, and so when I asked her, how do you like the game? How's it feel? Uh, I'm gonna make a video on it. What do you think about it? She said, you know, it definitely feels like an MMO. The reason I bring that up is because a lot of you, including myself, from kind of what we had heard about Ashes of Creation early on, is that it was going to be kind of action combat based where there was going to be uh, a reticle and you actually have to target or you have to aim some of your abilities. And I know there are aimed abilities, but definitely at the lower levels and the more basic spells, they're all cut and dry MMO abilities. So they're targeted, or they are AOE effects. And so the game definitely feels very uh, very much like a traditional MMO, and I never had to go into the reticle mode to kind of be able to aim my spells. So for some of you, that might be kind of a disappointment, but for me personally, I, I'm, not, I'm not very good at aiming. I have played uh, games that are uh, very aim intensive, and I don't tend to do very well at them. Uh, so for me, this is fine. I really don't prefer aimed abilities, but I do appreciate and understand how aimed abilities can kind of take things to a higher level in terms of skill cap. So we'll have to wait and see. I know, like I said, there are higher level abilities for your character that are more aim based. And I'm sure that the team doesn't want to start players out uh, with like a fresh character with a lot of aimed abilities because it might turn players off. So that's my only comment on that. Like I said, the max level cap in the beta, I mean, excuse me, the alpha this weekend was level 10 and they did several resets of character levels throughout the, the weekend. So I made a new character several times and I didn't ever level past level four. That's one thing to take away. Also, the other thing I must say is I didn't play a ton. So it was available for three days and I probably played a total of around six to eight hours. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to play the game, which was definitely a bummer for me, um, but it's fine. There's gonna be more tests coming up uh, in the future that I'll be able to play more on. Uh, but that is definitely one thing to note with my experience is I wasn't able to play a ton. Uh, in terms of how the game feels to me overall, like I said, uh, I agree it feels like an MMO, which to me is a good thing. The combat in the game is very uh, feels very good even for, I know they said this is not like their final pass of anything. Uh, spell animations, character animations, all those kind of things could still be in the works. Uh, combat, everything like that could still be in the works. Uh, but everything feels pretty good to me actually so far. I was worried in videos I had seen in the past, um, the combat f felt a little 
maybe floaty and it didn't feel very good. Uh, I will say that to me, the combat felt uh, pretty good, but I also didn't play the, the melee class that was available. I just played cleric and I played mage. Uh, both of those classes uh, felt good. Uh, I, I didn't have any qualms with that. Uh, I will say one thing that kind of was annoying to me is a lot of games they have like an auto attack ability so you know in wow you have your like white melee hits or you can you can queue up your wand as a mage if you're out of mana and you can just use your wand ability uh the auto attack ability for uh, ashes is uh bound to q um and currently you can't change any of the uh, key bindings which obviously is just an alpha thing but so for now it's bound as q and the only problem i have with it is I at least I don't know if this is intended or not at, as a final uh, final uh, pass, but you have to spam it. You cannot just like queue it up and just let the auto attack continue. You actually have to spam Q. So you can't you. It's definitely something you'd have to get used to, and you you definitely want it bound to something that's not going to cause you finger fatigue. Because uh, for example, the the mage's wand attack is bound to Q, which is the auto attack, and it has a very fast cast, so you're basically spamming Q. I mean, the faster you spam it, the faster the ability goes off. So for some people, they might really like that. They might find it re rewarding. And for others, it might kind of get tedious. And again, like I said, guys, this was low level testing. So once you have all of your, your loadout, all of your abilities, you might find yourself very rarely using your auto attack, just kind of how it is in WoW. You don't really worry about your auto attack so much. It's kind of something that is just there. And like, for example, as a mage, you might only use your wand every once in a while. So that's definitely how it could be in Ashes. I'm just saying that right now it's kind of a spammable ability that you have to kind of make sure you're spamming, obviously. So that's one other thing that I noticed. Uh, the next thing is the node system. So Ashes of Creation is kind of built completely around the node system and is one thing that I personally got really excited for and I know the rest of the community got excited for. Uh, the one thing that I will say about the node system is it's definitely not really in place in the alpha so far. So that's not something they're focusing on testing at the moment, at least in the content that I got to. Like I said, uh, if you are an Ashes uh, fan and you've played a bunch and maybe you leveled up faster than I did and you got to say level eight and you were able to get uh, further away to like a new zone, maybe some of the node systems are in, in place and they're working on it. But I personally didn't see any of that uh, town building. So I zoned in and it basically starts you off as, you know, you're just... Uh, finally getting here uh, into the world of Vera, which is Ash's world. And you kind of set out on your on your way. They ask you to, you know, find a certain lieutenant and you have to go find that person. And the quests are very like, you know, talk to this person, uh, kill these things. Uh, your, your typical MMO quests, which are completely fine. Uh, however, uh, everything's pretty vague so far. So I know Steven had talked in the past about how he personally, uh, him and the team at Ashes of Creation, they liked uh, having quests more not like in your face. And it was just simply the person's name was in green and you were able to go and kind of get some tasks from them. Now, I will say this is interesting. And obviously, as more time went on where I was playing Ashes, I would get used to it and it would just become uh, something of where I'm looking for the green names but for now i will say that it's kind of, for a new player it is a little bit uh unintuitive uh a lot of new players to mmos are used to kind of how mmos have been done in you know recent times which is where there's some kind of marker or icon over their name so personally when i had my girlfriend try the uh the game out for a little bit she was she was a little confused as what to do. And so I had to tell her, oh, green names, you know, that's how you figure out about quests. And then uh, once that's known, uh, there are a lot of green names around and you're, you know, going around and talking to them. There's no uh, actual dialogue in the game. So you need to read uh, the quests, which is completely fine. But as of now, they don't really have any uh, large scale map markers. So there's, there's map markers uh, in your immediate area but in but if you want to like click the map button which is m 
there's not going to be any markers, at least not for me, for quests further out. So you kind of have to do some digging and kind of adventure around. Now, for some of you, that's great. And for others of you, uh, you know, you might prefer to have it a little bit more well understood of where to go, uh, especially just kind of we've gotten used to that with newer MMOs that kind of, you know, have a bread trail or they have some kind of marker as where you need to go next instead of having to uh, read quests, which again, these things are more so important about new players because it can kind of turn turn new players off from the game. So I hope there's some kind of like intro at least, which I'm sure there will be. This is just alpha. They're testing things. Uh, but having some kind of handheld intro where it's kind of a little bit more intuitive of, you know, where you're going, uh, what you're doing in the in the world and how to kind of navigate things would be awesome. I'm sure they'll do that, though. So beyond those things, uh, like I said, the game feels really good. Uh, my PC is a little bit outdated and things might not be running optimally. So I can turn the graphics to ultra and I can appreciate the, the intensity of the graphics and how well the game looks. But I will say I cannot actually play on those graphics. I have to turn it down to like a medium to, to be able to enjoy the game. And even there looks great. The spells look great. Uh, I'm excited to see uh, how, you know, the world looks and feels when it's launched but hey if this is alpha i'm feeling pretty confident and uh you know i feel really good about how the team is is doing now the next thing a lot of people are probably going to wonder about is you know races classes uh customization all that kind of stuff so again this is very bare bones when i went to create a character uh you have almost no options you have like two face options you have like uh like a, a few beard options a few hair options and that's it they're kind of just like initial placeholders i feel uh they definitely will be working on uh, on the character customization screen a lot uh, but as of now it's very bare bones so i can't really comment on that except that the female dwarves can actually have beards i thought that was kind of funny um but yeah everything feels good the animations are feeling pretty good i like i said in so previously when i saw anyone doing any commentary or kind of looking at footage of ashes i know a lot of people's concerns were of the feeling of combat combat and how it looked uh and and i personally agree with that i think combat feel for a game is like especially for an mmo is like a hundred percent of the game because you're doing like you're running around as your character so like animations and combat matter so much and i will say that so far i feel like everything is pretty good like i said i didn't play the melee class um, so I can't comment on that. And I know melee, uh, having melee hits and swings feel really solid and good and, and everything like that matters a lot. Uh, but for myself personally, I thought the, the spell classes that I played, the cleric and the mage felt really good. Uh, when you were casting, you know, your big fireball, your character kind of slowed down. You were still able to move, but you got that slower character movement. Like you were, you know, working on casting this fireball. So it felt really solid. It felt good. Uh, I will say that the numbers, uh, at least for me personally, need to be worked on. I, I want the numbers to feel impactful, to feel big. Uh, even if like they're small numbers, if they're like, you know, ones, twos, and threes coming in, I want to feel, uh, you know, that they have some mass behind them and that they kind of pop up right now. I just, I don't know, some, something about them feels off again. It could be that I'm just used to a different video game. And so it's something I would get used to over time. But for me personally, that's something that I could see needing a little work on. Um, oh, what next? So the next thing to comment on is there are a huge number of classes in the game. Now there's technically 64 classes. Uh, however, that's just because you basically pick one class and then you pick a secondary class, which kind of overlaps on your class. So say you are a cleric and you wanted to be uh, a cleric mixed with a ranger. Now I can't tell you off the top of my head what that class is called, but if you wanted to be a cleric mixed with a ranger, you would have your cleric abilities and then they would have a you know a ranger a ranger-esque kind of feel or uh you know tilt to them so they might do something special that you would imagine with like a, a ranger ability so maybe uh one of your abilities would would shoot out like a poison arrow i have no idea i'm just you know making something up but what i'm saying is while there is a huge class variety and selection um 
they it still is like your main class and then there's kind of like a sub section and so one thing that i have worried about in the past which i can't really obviously touch on this about the alpha because this is not uh, in the game but i am worried about like balancing that and if there's going to be just one kind of optimal one that you go with or you know how all that is going to work um, definitely will be interesting to see over time and one of the things that i'm like looking forward to seeing how the team flushes that out and make sure that it's uh feels uh, like a meaningful choice uh, but that it's still balanced in some sense the last thing i want to touch on is just kind of feeling of the game overall now again things are in alpha uh the game itself is not polished i'm not even sure how the starting area or, or zone will be uh, just because of the node system i'm not sure how they're going to go about doing that and obviously on launch day when everyone's super excited to get into the game and start working on creating you know their town that they're going to start out at and then you know leveling it up into a city or a metropolis things like that uh, you will be definitely more excited but for me personally so far i didn't really feel like this when i w finished uh playing the game uh, and finished you know my session of playing I didn't really feel that uh, it was really hard to stop playing, if that makes sense. Um, so again, I'm super excited for this game and I'm excited to continually test the game and, and make sure that it uh, has all the testing and the polish it needs to go into beta and then launch. But personally, again, like I said, as of this weekend, this Ashes test that I did my first uh, initial al alpha test on this game. I will say that I didn't really feel super uh, connected to the world. I didn't really feel like logging out was a hard choice. And I didn't feel like time was going super fast. I was just enjoying the game, kind of uh, learning some stuff, seeing how the world worked, and then eh, I was done, you know? So I will say that I don't know how they intend to do the start of the game, but kind of bringing players in and immersing them in the world is definitely something that I think they need to work on, whether it's, you know, a more flushed out tutorial system for new players or people that aren't really familiar with how the game works uh, or, you know, some more cutscenes or cinematics or, you know, kind of seeing the world being built around you. Since I didn't get to see any of that or experience any of that, it felt kind of flat. I didn't really feel immersed in the game. But like I said, guys, this is the alpha. That 100% will definitely change uh, between here and now. That's just something that I did notice from the alpha test. Oh, and I know that I said that I only had one last thing to say, but I actually just remembered another thing. So as a Druid player, uh, pretty much every single game that I play, I always try to play the 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 class that resonates with me personally and for me i really like the naturey kind of um earth people i don't know if that makes sense so like uh in warhammer i played like a the little uh goblin shaman thing a long time ago uh you know in uh, what, what what other games i played oh in guild wars i played a, a ranger um so i i intend to play a class that even though they don't have a druid class, I, I do like that that nature vibe, that nature feel um, from characters. And that is one thing that I missed out on with Wildstar is I had to play a medic. I think that's what they were called, right? Um, uh, and I didn't really resonate with that character as much. And that's kind of how I felt going into it with the cleric. I thought uh, paladins, you know, seals, judgments, wisdom, light, all that kind of stuff. I'm not as into that kind of uh, archetype as much. Uh, but the cleric definitely, I feel like they kind of brought in some of those nature elements because personally in the first few um, levels of playing, you get two heals. One is like a heal over time and the other is a direct heal. And both of them, their animations are kind of green and, and life feel filled. They're not that that white holy light that you think of when you think of like a paladin heal in in games uh their other attacks are definitely more like judgments and and paladin heals and and things like that uh but the actual heals themselves felt somewhat naturey so i don't know if down the road you can connect you know maybe a 
cleric with a ranger and feel a little bit more earth connected or, or whatever but i will say that i'm still up in the air on what class i would play and what class i would enjoy uh definitely want to see how the ranger plays when it comes out and i will say that i'm not really into um caster classes like in terms of like a mage uh just a raw caster you know like a pyromancer or something like that but i will say the mage felt really really good and uh the fireball just their their main fireball attack um felt like it had weight behind it and it felt like you were you know doing a lot of damage and you were hurling a fireball at someone so like i said for being alpha guys i'm actually pretty impressed with how uh the animations are how everything feels uh you know i like a lot of the the characters all have different you know run animations jump animations uh, and there's a lot of emotes already in the game so there's like you know your typical wave dance um all those kind of things but then there's some other unique ones that i gotta see this weekend as well so i'm really excited for this game i'm excited to continually test it i'm excited to kind of feel it out and see what gets changed over time because like i said the game is far from being done but for being so far away from being done it definitely feels good so i will continue to make alpha alpha ashes of creation content as i can uh, when the nda for visual streaming and stuff like that gets released i will most likely stream i don't know i wouldn't but yeah i will stream for you guys you guys can come in and ask me questions ask me to test different things out but super excited for this game i've been really looking for a new mmo to be able to try and uh you know waste a lot of uh, waste a lot of time in so ashes definitely feels like it could be a contender and i'm really pleased to see where it goes so thanks all for watching i know this video was kind of long if you listened through it all thanks so much appreciate it um ask me any questions in the comments i'll try to be pretty good about answering those those comments the first day or two um, and then after that i kind of tend to stop getting the notifications about your comments coming in so the first day or two of the video i'm definitely really good at answering questions so anyways guys thanks so much and as always i will catch you guys in the next one take care